I think uh, Chile faces the entire Pacific Ocean uh, has a very complementary nature and structure with uh, Japan. And uh, we always assume that Chile is a Pacific nation. And uh, it is one of the very few modest, balanced uh, countries in the Pacific with whom Japan can talk as a friend. I think uh, Latin America has been a little bit uh, dormant, should I say, in slow in advancing to the Pacific area. Uh, we need uh, more democratic uh, partners and friends in the Pacific. Uh, there are a lot of uh, economic uh, possibilities for Latin America to grow and we can uh, be good friends and uh, be mutually supportive of uh, each other. Uh, you know, the mass uh, uh, spread of uh, new IT technologies making uh, uh, every citizen uh, a, like a broadcasting uh, station. Um, and uh, the individual opinions are heard and uh, it is uh, uh, strengthening the basis of a democracy, but at the same time it is making one unified view uh, difficult. So we have to embrace for a new society with uh, much more diversity. And uh, so this, is, uh, I may, this may take uh, uh, time, but uh, I think we will come up with a very robust uh, democracy under the new technology. Japan has been quite uh, active, uh, uh, especially recently under uh, Prime Minister Abe. And uh, because, uh, unfortunately, Mr. Trump is uh, uh, emphasizing um, that uh, America first uh, principle should uh, prevail and uh, every country should uh, be mindful of its own interest and uh, uh, walk away from the concept of public goods. Public goods are, are like a democracy, rule of law, freedom, um, assistance to needed countries, human rights, environment, and so forth. Now, if uh, uh, America first uh, position prevails all over the world, then there will be no one to look after those uh, public goods. And Japan is now determined to do just that. And uh, by Japan taking an initiative, and we will ask the United States to uh, work with us, I think the United States cannot say no, and that's uh, really what uh, we should be doing. <laughs>